So people the farm for me, the grind for me is finally over. Solstice of Heroes gear, majestic masterwork on all characters, finally acquired. Today I'm going to bring you guys the tips and tricks and cheeses I use to get all of this. And to be honest, I didn't really rush. So hopefully guys, you've still got a few bits and bobs left to do. And my help I will give you in this video will help you out, which will be pretty cool. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out the video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out. And if you're new around to and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Also, people excuse the voice. I know I sound like a little chipmunk normally, but I do have a crazy ass flu and it's killing me. So if the video looks a bit cut and shot, edited and trimmed here and there, that's because I am basically editing out all the times I'm going to sneeze, I'm going to cough and so forth. So I apologize for that. In advance so yes people solstice of heroes gear and all characters and my main we're gonna start with is the hunter and look how sexy he looks when it loads up because black screens console loading times as you well know are shocking but as you can see looking absolutely beautiful now the shader I'm using here I know many people are gonna be asking is new monkey succession and it's, it's, it's just incredible. I mean, there's plenty of amazing shaders, but I just like the red paired with the uh, fire glow. Paired with the subclass, which makes it obviously glow even brighter. So if I was to do that, you can see it dulls down. If you didn't know that, basically, I think everybody knows that, to be honest. But yes, I'm quite happy with this gear. I mean, the actual whole Solstice event to me, some of the challenges and some of the characters were a little bit overwhelming. Through the everyday dude who works or studies, I mean, getting all of this done on every character is going to be a crazy grind. Now, today I'm going to bring you guys all the tips and tricks and cheeses I use on every character. So if you've got anything left to do, hopefully it will help you out. We're going to start with my Hunter. Now, the Hunter drained armor set, the green armor set, the one you first get. I mean, it's relatively easy to do, but I'm still going to give you guys a few tips. You can see you do requirements on screen now. For the helmet, complete a run through the European aerial zone, land precision final blows, you have to do 50 of these, and defeat 50 fallen combatants. I mean, this is relatively straightforward. I mean, I didn't really use any cheeses here. Nessus is a perfect spot to get fallen. Also landing the 50 headshots at the same time. Or if you are lucky enough to load up the European area zone and get the fallen version, you should get all of this done in at least a couple of runs of that. The arms complete playlist strikes, you have to do 10 of these. Collect solar orbs in Gambit or Crucible, 100 of them, and unlock 10 solstice packages. The chest, loot chest in the European area zone. Collect elemental orbs of any type in any activity, 500, and defeat enemies in the European area zone while equipped with a solar subclass. Now while you are defeating enemies in the European area zone with a uh, solar equipped subclass and defeating 75 of these, you should get that amount of orbs and I'd probably say it would take two runs of doing the European area zone to probably get those chests too. I mean you could get 10 chests in a single run but being realistic I'd say two either way and within that you should get at least 100, 150 orbs for that. But another great place of collecting orbs is on Mars, load up an escalation protocol, kill as many as a thrall as possible from their spawn, and then basically load into the same area or the different landing zone on Mars and load up the escalation protocol again, rinse and repeat till you get your 500 orbs. But the requirements on the other remaining pieces of gear, like with the legs, complete public events on Nessus 10, complete sources of heroes, bounties 5, and defeat opposing guardians in the crucible or gambit. You should realistically get these 500 orbs by doing them. Now the class item, complete adventures free, this can be on any planet. Collect arc orbs in any strike 100 and complete crucible or gambit matches 10. So yes, basically, I mean, there's a few cheeses you can use here. But realistically, if you wear everything at the same time, doing strikes, playing crucible, looting chests in the European aerial zone, realistically, you should have already got that 500 orbs from doing them. So let's move on to the hunter renewed set. The helmet complete bounties and you have to do 50 of these. These you can just obviously stack from anywhere on the game. Every planet offers three. Then you've got Gambit, Hawthorne, Savala, Lord Shax, the Gunsmith, Ada One, Werner, the Fasaja Callus. All of these count. Now if you are out of bounties and you've done all of them or some of them are just too long for you to do. Eververse also sells bounties too which cost notes. Now if you've got plenty of these notes spare, the first two or three you can keep doing. So you can just rinse and repeat these two or three bounties 
and actually relatively straightforward to do. So for the 50 bounties, which is probably the longest part of this renewed armor requirement, that's what I'd say you do. Now you have to loot 50 chests in the European aerial zone and defeat enemies with arc weapons. Now the risk runner is your best friend here, but you could use any arc weapon. I've seen a lot of misfits here and there, the war cliff coil too, but there are plenty of arc weapons for you to get through this with. The 50 chests in the European aerial zone though, you can't get away from. You literally have to do that. Arms complete heroic public events, collect arc orbs in any strike and defeat cabal combatants while matching the day's event element. Now the heroic public events I did are Nessus. If you do it right you can rotate between artifacts edge, uh, the exodus black and assistant area. By the time you've done one another one will spawn in so just go to Nessus and do it that way. You can get this done in easily 25-35 minutes so hopefully that helps. Collect Arc Orbs in any Strike 500, a game people, the Risk Runner is your best friend here, and defeat Cabal Combatants while matching the day's event element. Now this for me, the Forge on the EDZ is just so simple, it's unbelievable. So go to the Forge on the EDZ, so many Cabal spawn, and you can get this done in a couple of runs. The Chest, complete Gambit matches, collect Elemental Orbs, and defeat enemy combatants with Void Grenades. Now the Collect Elemental Orbs, 1500, and the 500 orbs are required for the arms from a strike. I did this in Fire Team F3. I loaded up the playlist strikes and was searching for the Dreaming City strike, the Corrupted. Upon loading this up in my Team F3, we just made our way to the Blind Well. And we got this done in about three or four runs of the tier three. So yeah, it's relatively quick doing it that way. And you'll get a massive chunk taken out of the 1500 orbs required for the chest piece too. So keep that in mind. Defeating enemy combatants with void grenades, I did this at Shiro Tree from the Dreaming City's Last Wish Raid, uh, the checkpoint, which you can actually type in a wish to get to. It's pretty simple to do, and I've made a video guide and that also. Now, I will link any video guide I've made within the video description, so if I mention anything I've already made, you'll find it linked within the video description, so do check them out. There's probably something there that's going to help you out, people. But yeah, the 200 void grenades needed, I did at Shiro Chi, using that top tree tether. As soon as the door opens, tether the enemies and just grenade. And this works wonders, people. You'll get this done in a, about three or four runs easily. Now the legs complete daily or weekly challenges. These can be any challenges, people, from Crucible, Gambit, Ikora, the Vanguard Strikes, the daily missions, PvP, whatever. So that isn't too hard to do. Defeat enemies in strike playlist while matching the day's event element. 300 of these. Again, people, you can do this while searching for the corrupted strike on the Dreaming City through the Vanguard playlist, and you'll get this done relatively quick. And as a team, defeat opposing guardians in the Crucible or Gambit using void weapons. Well, you know what you gotta do here, people. Any void weapon you've got, go into PvP and just slay. A class item, complete patrols in the EDZ, 25, collect elemental orbs of any type in the European Aerial Zone 300, and defeat mini bosses in the European Aerial Zone. Now the collecting elemental orbs of any type in the European Aerial Zone, I'm pretty certain you'll get this done while you're looting the 50 chests from the European Aerial Zone, which is the requirement on the helmet. So that you shouldn't really have an issue with. Defeat mini bosses though, there is a cheese for this. You want to get the Cabal event on the EAZ. The one where three bosses spawn at the end. What you do is you kill two bosses and then a scion will constantly spawn every 30 to 35 seconds after you kill him. This again, people, I've made a video on which you'll find linked within the video description. And you can get this done. It's about three enemies every two minutes. So you should get this done relatively quick using that cheese. So what we'll do now is people will move on to the Titan. And the tips and tricks I used here. Now a lot of the requirements are the same as what I've covered on my hunter, so I won't bother mentioning them. But let's get into it. I've completed this, I just haven't applied the masterwork yet, as you can see. But I'll do that at another day. But the uh, shader I'm using here is called Satua Tribe, which is... Of course, I've, I've claimed this shader, people. I have claimed the shader. I do apply it to a lot of my weapons. I've probably got none of them here. I need to prove it to you guys. But yeah, I do. I claim the shader. But let's start with the Titan's Drained Armor Requirements. Now, the helmet complete a run of the EAZ. Land precision final blows 50 and defeat hive combatants 50. I mean, Titans are a great place to do this or Mars and the Escalation Protocol for that matter. Arms, loot chests in the European Aerial Zone, complete resources of hero bounties and defeat enemies in the European Aerial Zone while equipped with an ARC subclass. Again, people relatively straightforward. Chest complete adventures, collect solar orbs in strikes and defeat opposing guardians in the Crucible or Gambit. 
Legs, complete public events are Nessus, collect void orbs in the Crucible or Gambit, and unlock Solstice packages. These are basically the same requirements as the Hunter, just on different planets, so use the same tips. Class item, complete playlist strikes, collect elemental orbs of any type in any activity, and complete Crucible or Gambit matches. Let's move on to the renewed armor set for the Titan. Complete Gambit matches, collect elemental orbs using a matching arc, solar kill or void kill subclass, and as a team defeat opposing guardians in the crucible or gambit using arc weapons. Complete heroic public events, complete daily or weekly challenges, and defeat mini bosses in the European area zone. Exactly the same requirements for the hunter, just use the same tips. Defeat enemies in strike playlist using a subclass that matches the arc, solo or void day. Loot chest in the European area zone and defeat fallen using a subclass that matches the elemental day. Complete bounties, collect void orbs in any strike and defeat enemy combatants using solar melee attacks. Now there is a cheese for the solar melee attacks and you can do this with the hilt of a sword. Make sure it's a solar sword if you end on that solar day. Or you can go into a forge, pick up a border once you throw out a forge and just beat the shit out of enemies with these. Just to be sure though, make sure you are in your solar subclass, otherwise it won't work. This I've made a video on which you'll find a link to within the video description. Okay, so complete patrols on the IO, collect elemental orbs of any type in the European aerial zone, and defeat enemy combatants with solar weapons. The Sunshot people is your best friend for any requirement of getting kills with solar weapons. This thing is nasty, it's underrated, and I don't see many people using it and I don't understand why. The weapon is an absolute monster people, it really is. So yeah, the cheeses here, which you can use, are the ones I've already stated on my hunt and all will be linked within the video description, people. Okay, so now we'll move on to my Warlock, who again, people, is looking absolutely epic. Now, I don't know why that is not completed. I mean, I've done it on my Hunter, I've done it on my Titan. I thought it automatically uh, did it on my Warlock. Obviously not, well, I'll get that done later, either way. So let's look at the requirements for the Warlock Drained Armor set. Now, if you guys want to know the shader, the shader I am using right here is uh, Cognition of the Nine. Beautiful white and blue, still revealing the gold, which looks amazing. So yeah, let's move on to the Warlock Drained Arm requirements. For the helmet, complete run through the European Aero Zone, land precision final blows 50, and defeat Cabal Combatants. Arms, complete playlist strikes, collect elemental orbs of any type in any activity, and defeat opposing guardians in a Crucible or Gambit. Chest, complete adventures, collect arc orbs in Crucible or Gambit, and unlock sources packages. Legs, loot chest in the European area zone, collect solar orbs in strikes, and defeat enemies in the European area zone while equipped with a void subclass. Class item, complete public events are necessary, complete sources of heroes, bounties, and complete Crucible or Gambit matches. Again, people, a lot of the same requirements I've already covered on my Titan and Hunter. So let's move on to the renewed set. Defeat enemies in strike playlist using a subclass that matches the elemental day. Collect elemental orbs of any type in the European area zone and defeat minibuses in the European area zone. Again people, a lot of these tips and tricks I've covered on other characters. Complete bounties, collect elemental orbs using a matching arc, solar or void subclass and as a team defeat opposing guardians in the crucible or Gambit using solar weapons. Complete Gambit matches, complete daily or weekly challenges, and defeat enemy combatants with void weapons. Complete heroic public events, collect solar orbs in any strike, and defeat hive combatants using a subclass that matches the elemental day. Complete patrols on Titan, loot chests in the European area zone, and land arc super final blows. Now the arc super final blows, I did this at the same checkpoint as Shiro Chi in the last wish raid upon a dreaming city. Uh, as I did my void grenade kills on my hunt and I got this done in literally five minutes. So yeah, it's pretty simple to do that there, people. But yeah, that is it, guys, for the renewed and drained armor sets for all characters. So let's move on to the majestic legendary set for all three characters, as the actual challenges are the same across all characters. And this is to masterwork the actual gear. So for the Titan, Warlock and Hunter, complete a prestige nightfall with a score of 200,000 or better. Now it's important to mention if you have all your legendary gear applied across all three of your characters if you're doing this, doing these on one character should complete them across the board on every character. So you should only really need to run these challenges once and get them completed on every character. That's why I was confused about my Warlock not getting the gauntlets done. 
when I only did it on my hunt, but yet my titans are completed automatically. So it's really weird that is, but ho ho, that's the way it goes. I'll have to get that done later. So yes, complete a prestige nightfall with a score of 200,000 or better. I did this, people, on the, the Hallowed Layer Strike, and I'll show you guys my challenge card. Uh, just to make it easier for you guys. I did this in a team obviously and we had two hunters running Tether and we also had a Titan running Hammers and it was relatively quite easy people. We have a power handicap of 176 which is still pretty easy people. Modifiers are used with Solar Herb Singe. You don't want to be going into this using Arc because the end part is just nuts. We have Match Game, Extinguish and Blackout. Now it should be quite easy for you guys. I mean the last room I mean, the amount of ads that spawn, I mean, we did way over 200. I think we did about 240. Yeah, I found it. There you go, people. The Hello layer, 242,000 is what we did. So we got through it quite easily. We had plenty of points spare, guys. So yes, that's the one I suggest you try in this week as it is here. And you may even land yourself as well, people. The amazing shotgun that is, I don't know, I'll do that, write that one there, the Mine and Bender's Ambition. Mine is a curated roll which dropped a... Uh, few weeks ago actually but it's a great great shotgun okay so let's move on complete playlist strikes with clan mates you need five of these like i said do them on one should have complete them across the board complete the shattered throne in a dreaming city with a fire team of two players or fewer now you can actually cheese these people and i made a video on this what you can do is you can load this up in a team of three and at the very last part when you kill the boss the third person just backs out obviously he doesn't get this complete for himself but he will help the two remaining people and they will get this completed. Reset your season seven Valor rank in the Crucible. This is retroactive by the way, so if you've already done this, it should auto complete. If not, you better get grinding PVP and defeat challenging combatants throughout the system. There's multiple places you can do this. The Mars Lost Sector, you can do this in the Menagerie. This just, I mean, I got this done and even realized, so yes, that shouldn't be an issue for you people. And yeah, guys, this is that and that is this. Complete Solstice Gear Majestic on every single character. And the grind was real. Shame it would probably be absolutely pointless armor come Shadow Keep. I mean, even though it is 2.0 armor confirmed, I mean, it's going to be so many other armor sets we're going to be chasing. I'm not sure many of us will be rocking this then. But hey ho, it's still it's at least something for us to play for right now. I'm going to be going back to being bought. Actually, I'm going to be grinding PvP. I need to play about 20 more Rumble games to get my Redrixes. And I need to do that before Shadow Keep in the new season. But yeah, guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really do. Again, I apologize about my voice. Uh, I have been coughing and spluttering all over this video. But I will cut that out for you guys. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, it really helps. Uh, if you're new and you enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video, I would you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next video.